Now, let's talk about the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is a, is a normal distribution with a mean equals to zero and a standard deviation of one. And the total area under its normal curve is equal to one. Now, the properties of the standard normal distribution are the following. So the distribution is symmetric about the mean z is equal to zero. Now, since the area of the normal curve is equal to one and the distribution is symmetric about the mean z equal to zero, it follows that the area from the mean or from z equal to zero to the left is equal to 0 0.5 and the area to the right of the mean z equal to zero is equal to 0 0.5. That's the second property. And the last one is that the area under the standard normal curve increases as the distance between zero and the z increases. Now to find the area, we will be using the standard normal distribution table. Okay, so let's have this example number one. Find the area under the standard normal curve between z equals zero and z equals 1.15. So the first thing that we need to do is to draw the normal curve and then locate this z equals 1.15 and z equals 0 in the normal curve. So this is z equals 0 and z equals 1.15 that is between 1 and 2. So suppose this is the z equals 1.15. Let's label this as 1.15. Now we are asked to find the area from 0 to 1.15. So are we going to do that? So we need to find the area that corresponds to z equals 1.15. So we will be using the normal distribution table. Okay, so using the normal distribution table, so find 1.1 in the left column and then moving across the row to the column under 0 0.05. So the number in that row in that column is the area that corresponds to z equals 1.15. And that is 0 0.3749. So meaning the area between 0 and 1.15 is 0 0.3749. So let's have this example number two. Find the area under the standard normal curve to the left of z equals negative 0 0.99. So again, draw the normal curve and then locate this negative 0 0.99 in the normal curve. So negative 0.099, that is between negative 1 and 0. So suppose this is where negative 0.99 is located. Let us label this as negative 0 0.99. So we are asked to solve for this to the left of negative 0 0.99. So how are we going to do that? So we need to locate first the area that corresponds to z equals negative 0 0.99. So meaning that is from 0 going to negative 0.99. So in the normal distribution table, so this is the area that corresponds to z equals negative 0 0.99. That is 0 0.3389. Now, how are we going to find this area? So this is 0 0.3389. So we know that the area to the left of the mean is 0 0.5. So if this is 0 0.3389 and from this from zero to the left is 0 0.5. So we need to subtract this 0 0.3389 to 0.5. So that is 0 0.05 minus 0 0.3389 is equal to 0 0.1611. So meaning the area to the left of z equals negative 0.99 is 0 0.1611. So let's have this example number three. Find the area under the standard normal curve to the right of z equals negative 0.99. So this time, we are asked to solve for the area to the right of this negative 0.99. So again, the first thing that we need to do is to draw the normal curve and then locate this negative 
0 0.99 in the normal curve. So that is between negative 1 and 0. So suppose that is located here. So let's label this as negative 0 0.99. Now we are asked to find the area to the right of this. So to the right. So meaning, okay. So from this area going to this area. So how are we going to do this? So again, the first thing that we need to do is to find the area that corresponds to negative 0 0.99. In the normal distribution table, that is equal to 0 0.3389. Okay, so meaning that is the area from 0 going to negative 0.99. Since we are asked to find the area to the right, of this negative 0 0.99, so from 0 0.99 to the right. Okay, this area is equal to this, and we know that the area to the right of the mean is 0 0.5, so we're just going to add 0 0.5. So this area plus this area is equal to 0 0.8389. So the area to the right of negative 0 0.099 is this. Let's have this example number four. Find the area under the standard normal curve between z equals negative 1.5 and z equals 1.25. So again, the first thing that you need to do is to draw the normal curve and then locate this negative 1.5 and 1.25 in the normal curve. So again, negative 1.5 is between negative 2 and negative 1. So suppose this is negative 1.5 and 1.25 that is between 1 and 2. So suppose this is 1.25. So the area that we are asked to solve for is between negative 1.5 and 1.25. So this area. Okay, so are we going to do that? So we need to find the area that corresponds to negative 1.5 and the area that corresponds to positive 1.25. Now, using the normal distribution table, the area of 1.5 is 0 0.4332 and the area of 1.25 is 0 0.3944. So, this is 0 0.4332 and this is 0 0.3944. So since you are looking for the area from negative 1.5 to positive 1.25, so we're going to add the two areas. So adding this, we have 0 0.8276. So the area between negative 1.5 and 1.25 is 0 0.8276. Example number five, find the area between z equals 0.52 and z equals 1.49. So again, draw the normal curve and then locate the z in the normal curve. So 0.52, that is between 0 and 1. Suppose this is the location of 0.52. And 1.49, is between 1 and 2. So suppose this is the location of 1.49. Okay, so now let us find the area that corresponds to 0 0.52 and then find the area that corresponds to 1.49. So the area of 1.52 is this and the area of 1.49 is this. So we're going to subtract. So subtract the area so to find this. Okay, so the area of, one po of 0 0.52, 0 0.52 is this, that is 0 0.1985, and the area of 1.49 is this, that is 0 0.4319. So this is 0 0.1985 and this is 0 0.4319. So we're going to subtract. So get the absolute value. So 0 0.1985 minus 0 0.4319. So that is equal to 0 0.2334.
Thank you.